Hi everyone, welcome to Channeling Love. It's Diane and this is today's angel message. So I'm going to start with the Astro Dice and just see what we can pick up for the collective. Okay, so we've got Jupiter, 8th house um, and Taurus, Jupiter, Taurus, 8th house. Okay, right. Let's start with Jupiter and Taurus, first of all. So, an expansion in our um, material world, our material reality. An expansion in our ability to experience things of a high quality, you know, of a luxurious nature. Um, an expansion also in our ability to grow things, to grow things outdoors, to grow plants, to grow our own food, maybe. So Taurus is the sign of, of growing things, but also of things that we value, you know, in our material reality. So, and it's an earth sign as well. So Jupiter in that sign is expanding everything of that nature. So also Jupiter, uh, Taurus represents the throat. So Jupiter in Taurus can involve public speaking or being a singer or any of those things that you use the throat chakra to express yourself through. And in the eighth house, this can also be about intimacy. It can be about legacy, large sums of money, inheritances, taxes. It can be about loans. It can be about bursaries and grants, anything of that nature. So, you know, I suppose a classic scenario, one of the many scenarios that that could be is, you know, if you decided that you wanted to go to music school and study, um, study to be a singer, and you were you were about you were applying for a loan or something like that, just to get really specific, um, or it could be that you're taking out a loan to to buy a luxury car, or to maybe you're you're starting a small holding, or you know an organic gardening company, or something of that nature. Um, and Jupiter is also, Jupiter can also be connected to higher knowledge and learning and study as well. So it could very much be um, to do with studying something of a Taurian nature and looking, trying to find some kind of funding for something of that nature. So that's uh, just a, a sort of an overview. It could be lots of other things. Um, to make it a bit more general, in terms of the collective, let's just say that this could also be about learning to value yourself because you've got the eighth house and the second house and it's those are both kind of about things that we value or things that we own, possessions or things that can be given to us in support. So it's a day about that's all about expanding our ability to value ourselves also to value to value and appreciate what we what we already have you know all the things that we have i'm going to ask for those who are wanting to study at this point i'm just going to ask if there's anything if there are any messages for people in that situation okay what do we need to know um a difficult path is being revealed um, awaken your, all your senses and listen to the eternal song of your soul. Somebody really is <laughs> definitely thinking of studying music at this point. And um, you're being asked, with Awaken to Your Senses, you're being asked to sense and know and understand what it is that brings you alive, what it is that really works for you, whether you're thinking of studying something or not, whether you're a musician or not. It's a really important time for you to get in touch with what you value just about being alive, what you value just about the physical experience, the earth experience. So, and we do that through the senses, don't we? We know what it is, what fragrances we love. We know what, what things we love to use on our bodies. We know what we love to eat, what makes us feel good, but in an elevated sense, because remember Jupiter's higher higher knowledge, higher learning. So what is it that helps you to raise your vibration, I would say? What's a really good um, series of experiences for you to have? What music do you want to be listening to? Um, what, what do you want to be, what fragrances do you want to have burning in your home? Is it time for you to invest in a new fragrance? I know it's not, you know, a lot of us are being 
careful at the moment. It might not be something that seems like a necessity right now. But it's also important to remember that when we raise our vibration by giving ourselves some of the things that we love, by treating ourselves as the special and precious beings that we are, then we're able to manifest more on the physical plane. We're able to attract more that belongs to that vibration. So it's important for us to remember that high vibration, to connect with that high vibration. And for some, it is going to be important to remember any musical gifts that you might have have. It's going to be an important day to have the right music playing in your home and have anything else around you that really inspires you. Okay, I'm going to choose um, a couple of tarots as well. And I'm asking, how can we move forward now um, in terms of study, in terms of our material reality? in terms of putting the structure, the nuts and bolts of our lives in place in a really practical and grounded way. What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know in the collective? What's the most important thing? Okay, Nine of Swords just fell to the floor. And I'm going to interpret that as that's something that's falling away from us right now. That's just how it feels in the moment. I wouldn't always say that, but that's what feels right. And a lot of us are coming into faith, coming much more into faith and self-belief now. So let's see, what's the first thing we need to know? Three of Pentacles. So for some people, this is the beginning of a journey. Three, three of Pentacles, <laughs> bizarrely, can be the card of study. It can be the card of an apprenticeship. It can be about collaboration, a new enterprise, something that's just beginning to get off the ground. So... It's another affirmation that it's important to commit to the steps that you need to take in order to make your dreams become a reality. And, you know, who is it that you need to consult? Who do you, Whose help or assistance do you need? Where do you need to start sending applications? Some For some, it will be job applications for a new job, for something that just feels more in alignment. And for some, it will be learning how to collaborate better with the people who are already in our circle. And the overall message, remember, is a message that's all about how we can be guided um, in the right way and how we can trust our path and how we can allow all the worry to fall away and, and build a powerful material reality. So it's a nice practical one today. We have a lot of spiritual messages coming through, which is lovely, but this is a, a nice practical one. So if you need to start sending applications out, if you need to start taking an apprenticeship seriously, this is the time to make that, that study um, determination, to make that decision, to start to get the ball rolling. What else do we have? So some people out there are feeling trapped in jobs that don't serve their highest good, that do not serve them on their path, in their mission. And this card is all about the illusion of being stuck. It's, you know, swords, cards, swords are all about what's going on in our head. You know, that nine that's fallen to the floor. It's all about worry. It's not about what's actually happening in the reality. So we're being reminded that these are all thoughts. These, these are all our thoughts about being trapped, about being stuck. And it only takes the right kind of thought, the right kind of inspiration to show us that there are choices, that there are alternatives. There always are. We might not have access to them at the moment. We might not be able to see them clearly just yet, but there are always other possibilities. Um, something that a lot of people do, you know, people who are very successful, um, is to just take a whole day out for thinking. Take a thinking day. And before you say, oh, yeah, but who can afford that time? Well, you have a weekend, you have a day off, maybe. It could be a time to, instead of doing something that's more distracting or, you know, that's not helpful, not productive, it could be time to just take a day. Just let everyone know you're not going to be reachable that day. Just get the food in that you need. Just close the doors or do a, do a fast if that's something that appeals to you. And just spend a day just connecting with yourself. It's not necessarily meditation. You could meditate as well. But just thinking time. Just time to allow ideas to come to the surface. Okay, one more. And the world. 
it's the beginning of a new cycle, but not only that, the whole world is waiting to open up to us. You know, the whole world will open up to you when you decide to go on this new path, when you decide to give yourself time um, to make the right decision, to either begin the study or send the applications out for something new, you know, you will find things opening up in a much more productive way, in a way that allows you to embody who you really are much more and to create, you know, dreams out of joy rather than necessity, if that makes sense. Okay. So, I'm going to choose an angel card as well to see what other messages there are to show us what are some of the changes that some members of the collective need to be making now in terms of study goals or new job applications, new you know life goals on the practical work and study um, plane of experience. Relationship harmony. Okay, for some of you, you need to know that if there are difficulties in a current job situation, and this is one of the things that's giving you the impetus to leave, just know that while you're looking for other possibilities, while you're wondering what else you could be doing, angels and guides are helping with this situation. They are trying to heal everything you know, the heal, heal the hearts of everyone who's involved. And if it's not to do with a work situation, if it's something to do with people, people at home who don't quite understand what you're reaching for or what you're trying to achieve, or if it's, you know, something to do with the relationship you have with yourself. And remember, we had the eighth house, so that's intimacy. So it could be an intimate partner for some. Um, just understand that even if you don't feel understood at the moment in that connection, you are receiving angelic help with that aspect of your life as well. Uh, to smooth things over is what I'm hearing. To smooth things over, to smooth your path so that it will be easier for you to make decisions and to get support as you make them. Let's have one more from this deck. One more from this deck. Okay. Um, creative writing. So some of you are writers. Um, some of you just need to write things down in a journal and get those thoughts out of your head and on paper where you can see them, where you can refresh your soul and your mind and your heart and just get a bit more clarity about what's going on in your psyche and let any new insights just spring up while you're working. That can be a really powerful process. And if you are a writer, maybe it's time to write that next chapter or to commit to sending that book out to getting an aid to get an agent or you know any number of things related to your writing some of you are channels I'm hearing as well and you're not allowing that to flow through you because you I don't know are not ready or you you feel blocked somehow it could be a past life thing it could be any number of things I, I know that feeling but you know it's much easier on paper so just allow it just let it flow let it flow Okay, um, yeah, let's do a quick pick a card, shall we? Let's do a very quick pick a card. And I'm going to really um, sail close to the wind and do a pick a card using tarot. <laughs> okay, we'll see what we get, we'll see. So just close your eyes and decide whether you are group one, two or three or ask your guides to inspire you with that information and see what comes through. Right, I've just heard stop. If you want to, you can pause the video while you get that information. <sighs> okay, group one. Right, so the question is, what does this group need to know about possible new ventures in work or study or creativity or enterprise? Um, okay, so you're being told that there is some kind of opportunity coming to you. There is something that you need to be open to. It could also be someone who is coming to become a part of that journey. Uh, someone, it could be a water sign, someone who's quite emotional, quite sensitive as well, who has something to offer and to contribute to the venture that could be really helpful, that could be useful. You're being asked to just be open to what comes, even if you've made really strong decisions about which way you're going to go. Um, it could be that there are other unforeseen factors that could come into play that will help to guide you um, over the next day or so. Yes? 
over the coming days. I'm being corrected over the coming days. So just because this is a message for today, these are not daily messages. So, you know, this could apply to the next few days, the next few weeks, the next few months. This is just an angel message for today. So it's what you need to hear for today. And it could have implications going into the future or going back into the past or across several timelines and parallels. Okay, but let's not go there. That's another story. Okay, so um, group two. Um, yeah, group two. It's really time to leave behind a messy past and start to trust yourself again. This is what I feel. Whew, it's like you've come to the end of a very edgy kind of um, cycle. And it's hard to let go of some of that. And I feel a lot of it has undermined your confidence and really brought you down, you know. And you're, you need your confidence right now. Because if you're at the beginning of a venture or you're about to start applying for things, it could be that you've just been through the mill in a current job or a business hasn't been working out too well. It, you know, this is a card that can symbolise ruin and just being at the worst point. And, and that could be as a result of a toxic relationship or a toxic job or, or financial ruin or a business that didn't work out. It could be any of those things. And it feels grouped to as if you have been... To, through the ringer and you have come to the end of that journey and you're being told that you have to have faith that you've come to the end and that you can start your ascent now and you know to have confidence in the future because that's what you do need to start going forward group three I feel as if I want another card for group two because that was less than ideal wasn't it Although it's not a prediction, it's just summing up what has been. So let's see what else does group two have to, to look forward to. What do they need to know? Divine physician, Archangel Raphael. So for some people, there have been health implications that have resulted from, you know, this dark phase that you've been through. And you're being asked to call upon Archangel Raphael to heal your body and to bring you back to full health. And I'm gonna give you one more card, right? And that will help you to regain your balance, to come back into balance, okay? But you know, you have the reading that everyone else in the collective has, and that is a reading that says, it's time to go forward on a new path, and it's time to, you know, start making those changes, making waves, sending out applications, whatever it happens to be for you. And you can achieve, you know, everything that you're trying to. But it's just sometimes you need time to heal. We need time to heal and to really let go of the past before we feel ready to move into the new adventure. But trust that that adventure is here. It's coming and it's here for you. Okay? The, the potential is here for you right now and it will it will come, it will arrive, it will arise, because it feels as if it arises from within you, yes? Okay, um, group three, strength. You have gained the kind of strength now that allows you to pretty much feel as if you could take on anything. So <laughs> go, you know, go carefully. Um, what you need to know at this current time about the, the new journey that you're on or about any changes that you're making is that you are going to take that strength forward with you. So even if it seems a bit daunting at the moment to make changes or to go forward um, as you rebuild um, or build something new, um, you're much stronger than you were. So let's say it's a job and you've been there for quite a while. And you're thinking, oh, I've been there such a long time, I can't face anything else. Remember that you are even more capable now than you were when you started. And just go for it. Okay, I think we're done. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. And um, if you'd like to connect with me in any way, all the links are below the video in the description box. And, you know, there's tons of information there and lots of different ways to support me, support my channel and to get in touch and work with me. OK, thanks very much for watching. We'll be back soon. Bye.